Hi, I'm going to do a quick little film here on how to transfer content to Mobile VR Station from iTunes. So the first step you need to do is just open up iTunes. The next thing you do is just need to plug your iPhone or your iPad into your PC. And then just wait. And then usually that little icon will show up over here, you know, for your phone. So you click it. And now what you do is you need to go to your apps over here in the left hand side. And now up here, up at the top, these are your installed apps. This is not what you want. I want you to scroll down on the right side, all the way down. And then you'll find Mobile VR Station in this list down here in the file sharing section. So what I need you to do now is click on Mobile VR Station. And I need you to say, hey, add, down here at the very bottom right. And then choose a file you want to add. So right now I'm going to add an IMG1749. You could add in MP4s, MOVs, M4Vs, but it's up to you. But right now I'm just going to add in a JPEG image. Now I'm going to hit Add. Now if I look up here, it's right there. All right, so the file's been moved to my app. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my phone and show you how to open that file that I just transferred over. Hi, I'm going to do a quick little film here from my iPhone 5S on how to find and play that file that you just transferred via iTunes file sharing. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down and find Content Browser. I'm going to tap on that. I'm going to tap on Drives. I'm going to tap on Documents. Now I'm going to scroll down. And here is the IMG1749 that I transferred. I'm going to hit the Information I. I'm going to say Generate Icon. And that's how you would make an icon if it didn't have one. And then I'm going to tap on the row. And it should start to play. Now here is the image that I transferred via iTunes displaying on the screen. Now you can remember you can also transfer over movie files too and they should work as long as they're not a protected movie file because this app cannot access any protected movies just because we do not have the like licensing capabilities to actually play those files. Thank you.